Hello, hello, DIY flower designers. Wherever you're tuning in from today, if you're on YouTube, welcome. If you're in the DIY flower designer community on Facebook, welcome as well. Today I'm gonna to take you guys through some floral prep, okay? This is really important to do when you're getting ready to design is to first prep your flowers, you guys. This week we're gonna kind of be doing a wedding theme here. I'm gonna be kind of reimagining my own wedding. Um, this weekend, my husband and I are celebrating 17 years of marriage, and I thought it would be really fun to kind of show you some of the flowers we had in our wedding. We definitely don't have everything that we had in our wedding, but we definitely have some gorgeous colors here. These are going to be really fun to work with this week, okay? So I wanted to take you along for some um, hot water flower prep today because I thought that would be something if you haven't done it before this might really be helpful for you so I'm gonna grab my tea kettle okay I have my tea kettle at 212 it can be around 180 whatever you want it's gonna cool down a little bit as you're pouring it into this glass anyways so just give it a minute I'm gonna pop this back on and just turn off turn off the tea kettle um, I always have my tea kettle with me you guys it's super important for some flowers to be able to have hot water treatments Two of the flowers that really like hot water treatment are dahlias, okay? They like to be dipped at about 180, okay? So these ones will be my second ones we do. The really, the ones who really like the really, really hot is these gorgeous hydrangeas, okay? And normally with hydrangeas, I hot water treat them and then I dip them in allium. But today I wanted to try and see what quick dip did. See if I like it better, see if it works as good. So we're gonna try out something a little bit new, right? Cause we're always learning as florists, okay? So that's something I was gonna do. I was like, if I'm gonna do it with the dahlias, I might as well try it with the hydrangeas and keep flower prep easy that way. But these are gonna be the ones I definitely am gonna dip first and give that water just a little time to cool off. So you're gonna wanna use shears. You're gonna wanna cut these at, a, at an angle. And then I'm going to dip them in the hot water. What this is doing is, is opening up the stem so all the water can travel up here, okay? Hydrangeas just kind of have a hard time, okay? So I do this for a little bit, like 30 seconds or so. And then I'm gonna dip it in quick dip, which quick dip is just a dip, okay? And then we're gonna dip it in some cool water here, okay? Now, hydrangeas also, if you start to see these babies starting to droop, you can pull off these leaves, okay? Because these leaves are gonna suck the water out of them, okay? But I like to leave the leaves just to see if we can make it happen so that you can have the beautiful hydrangea leaves because they are gorgeous, okay? So just pop those in. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do the dahlias, okay? As that water's kind of cooling off, I'm just gonna snip these little dahlias. We're gonna give them a hot water treatment. Same thing with the hydrangeas. I'm gonna hot water treat them just real quick. And you can actually, dahlias actually can be left in a bucket 180 degrees for a while and then transferred to a cool bucket. But I'm just gonna use the same thing I'm doing with the hydrangeas today to keep my life a little bit more simple, okay? So then we're gonna come over here and do it in the quick dip again, just a quick dip. And then we're going into the bucket with those, okay? Um, the roses I'm also gonna do a quick dip with as well. Okay, look at these gorgeous. These are definitely the color roses you guys I had in my wedding. Look at how beautiful they are. Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, I love them. And I'm gonna quick dip these as well and then just pop them into my bucket here. Keep it simple. Just a nice little quick dip. And then roses to hydrate. Okay, now we've got some calla lilies. These were not the color we had in our wedding. We had more of the coppery color, but they didn't have those at the grocery store. So we're using these ones. I got these at Traders today. Didn't want to go into the flower market. So keep it as simple. We went to Traders and these are kind of more of a dark color, but they did kind of have a little bit of that coppery color that was in the wedding. So I was like, oh, they're so pretty. We're going to try them out. Kind of looks like a really pretty fall calla lily. With calla lilies, you have to leave the white behind, but a lot of the time when you get them from the grocery store, they do not have the white left, okay? A lot of times they've been cut and cut and cut. So what I do is I cut just a teeny bit off the bottom, okay? As little as we can go. 
because what's going to happen is these babies are going to octopus. They're going to like curl up. They're going to get all crazy. If you cut too much of them off, that's what's going to happen. So just a tiny fresh cut, just enough for them to absorb water up through the stem is all colas really need. If they have the white, just a tiny little cut, leave that white as much as you can. Okay. Oh, we forgot a dahlia. There was a sprinkler over here. Get that in the quick dip and put it over here where the deli is. Okay. Now, you guys, we did not have these fillers or grain in our wedding, but I thought it would be fun. You know, eucalyptus is super in. Eucalyptus was not in when I got married. I got married in 2006. That was the year of Salal and Pittosporum. Okay, so it's kind of changed a little bit. So I'm going to use this gorgeous seeded. I love this time of year with the seeded, this, this little tiny. It's so pretty airiness. I really love it. You can see the little pods on there. This is gorgeous, okay? Then we've got some, I think this is like misty filler here. I thought it was kind of pretty, kind of rustic, kind of gorgeous. And then I love myself a little silver dollar eucalyptus, okay? This stuff, both this eucalyptus can dry out really, really easily. Um, so you're going to want to make sure you can keep it in a couple of different ways. Um, you can keep it in just a garbage bag, you guys, that's been sprayed in with some water and or crowning glory on it to keep it hydrated um, in a nice cooler. Um, or you can, you know, if, when, once you open eucalyptus and you let it set out in your house, it's going to get all crispy. So just kind of keep it, um, I have some crowning glory here I'm going to use. Crowning glory sometimes will give it the spots on it. So you kind of got to decide what you want with eucalyptus, okay? I usually just let it go and it is what it is, but if you're using it for a wedding, you could use crowning glory and it should be fine. As long as you're using clear crowning glory, okay? Don't use the crowning glory that has the residue because there is crowning glory that does that. You want to look for clear crowning glory when you're purchasing that stuff, okay? Just going to cut these off. Super easy flower prep, okay? So... I hope you guys enjoyed this flower prep with me today. Um, if you are new here at Flowers by Jenna May, go ahead and like this video or send me a little comment and let me know how you're enjoying this YouTube channel. I hope you guys are having a beautiful flowery day and we'll see you later. Bye now.